One, two, three. Hello, this is Ryan Riccatelli with ASNews.net and the Kai Porter Magazine, and we are in Lightwave Dave's booth. Dave Turner, Lightwave Design, uh, a legend. Been around right. since a, for a long time, man. And uh, so tell everyone a little bit about who you are and what you do. And I'm, th I'm sure they already know, but if they don't, you know. Thanks, Ryan. Well, I'm uh, Lightwave Dave is my nickname. I've uh, been in the kiteboard business since 98. Uh, one of the original players here. Um, I'm also the North America distributor for Globe Kites. And uh, I've got a full line of 09 boards this year. Um, we specialize really in twin tips, but we're into the surf scene now too. I know that's really gaining a lot of popularity. Uh, we've got a full line of accessories, uh, board bags, impact vests, harnesses. And um, I'm a rider myself, of course. I've been riding since 98. And, um, I test it all myself as well as my team testing them. But um, yeah, let me show you through the product line. Yeah, why don't you take us through the boards? Okay. Brand new in the Surf Expo today is the Spirit. This is my new um, twin tip. It's going to come in a 135, a 140, and a 145. It's kind of a, a good board for the first time board buyer. They usually want to get about a 145. You know, all the instructors when they're done teaching a lesson, they get, says, "Hey, what size do I need?" It'll probably be a 145. You know, and uh, so this is the Spirit. It's a wood core with a clear graphic sheet, um, windows, has some flex to it, and it has some strategic uh, zones here. These torsion bars. We can reduce the amount of material here, therefore lightening the load. But the torsion bars are going to maintain some of the rigidity. The side torsion bars here let the tip flex this way, but keep it from flexing this way, which you don't want. You want to have tip flex this way, but you don't want your fin folding up the side, losing grip. So that's why you put the torsion bars here. It comes with the little grab handle on the sides. And can I go through the bindings now? Yeah, please? absolutely. These are the, the new bindings for 09. It's a lace up, similar to the front half of a wakeboard boot. Super comfortable. It's uh, not cut EVA like most things you see on the market. This is a molded polyurethane. So it's a little bit softer than a cut EVA. You got a very radical toe grip that really holds you in. And it's a lace-up, so it's very adjustable. It'll go from like a women's seven to about a men's 13. So pretty much one, one size fits just about all. That's good. Um, we purposely didn't use a cord lock. If you have a cord lock, they tend to slip. Plus, you're gonna have a lot of excess material here that's, that's going into your boot while you're trying to get it on. So therefore, you just tie it like you would your tennis shoes. Just tie it like you would your tennis shoes. These are going to be standard equipment on all, and then tuck it in. These are going to be standard equipment on all the 09s. Ultra plush foot system. Yeah, those are nice. Okay. So that's the bindings that will come on everything. Let's move on to the Vision. This is our other line of twin tips. Kind of more uh, geared towards more experienced rider. This board is um, new for 09, the, the graphics, but the shape really is a carryover from the 08, from the Rasta Pro, which was very popular. A lot of people really like this board. So I figure you don't have to, to change it every year. Yeah. You know, if it's working good, I'm sticking with it. Um, physics doesn't change every year right exactly so we're keeping this one the the cool thing about this board it's really performance oriented it has a flat spot in the middle to give you a lot of pop for the no whip wake style tricks but on the sides you hear everybody's got a concave bottom right well a lot of those concave bottoms you see are a continuous radius concave that they just bend in when you're making the board well that doesn't perform as well as this this is CNC bottom and it's flat in the center for extra pop. 
and hooked on the sides. And you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's quite a, a, a sharp radius hook. And what that does is when you're riding on the edge, that hook really digs in and acts like an extra fin. Well, and then when you go flat though, and you want to hit a piece of chop and pop it up, it really pops good off the flat. This board's a little bit stiffer than the um, Spirit. For more experienced rider, you know, it's not going to be quite as cushy of a ride, but it's like a diving board, boom, on the pop. It's a lot, boom, a really strong pop. Okay. Um, well, these are the 08 bindings. 08 the, straps? The, 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 oh, oh, uh, the 09s will be on these. They'll all be laced. Right. Okay. Those, all the lace ups will be on the 09s. Uh, new for 09 also, we have the 2 inch Texalium fins. Texalium? Yeah, uh, textile aluminum. Ah, uh, okay. That's what that stands for. And uh, we went back to a quarter 20 bolt. Uh, in previous years, I've had a thinner fin with a small bolt, fine threads. But we had some problems with that, you know, thread stripping and things like that. So we went back to a quarter 20, the same size as you have on your. Uh, top inserts. Awesome. So um, that is the uh, Vision 09. Okay. And then you got this bad boy over here. Yep. This is... Well, this one doesn't have bindings on it, but I'll show it to you like that. This is the wing. The wing. The wing is obviously a light wind board. But it's pretty versatile for a light windboard. I can do all my kite loops and everything on this. Like the other day I was out riding in 12 to 14 miles an hour. I'm a big guy, 215 pounds. I was riding 12 to 14 on a 12 meter, going Jeez. upwind. Crazy. So an old guy like me, I can practice my kite loops while I'm kind of underpowered. But the beginners really like this. It's got offset fins. When you're riding in light wind, your board is relatively flat on the water. You're not edging super hard in light wind. So we put both the fins where you need it on that heel side edge. Because you're riding off the fin more in light wind than you would in heavy wind. So we offset the fins, but yet it's with the fin profile the sport has, it still rides pretty good toe side. It's not that slippery on toe side. You can do all your tricks on the sport still. But uh, these are super popular in Padre Island. Yeah, I can imagine. And um, these have been good. We had it in 08, but we. Um, we brought the manufacturing back in the United States, and these are the 09s made in the U.S. Nice. I got the ABS rails. Um, this board has a, it's, it's built for big guys. A lot of 200 pounders are going to be buying this board. And then you have bigger sizes too, yeah? Yeah, this is the 146. I have a 153 and a 161. Wow. For the big guys. For the big boys. Yeah, it's a session saver. What can I say? Yeah, it is. But it's, uh, being that it's for big boys, and it's a pretty flat board. The physics of this board is it's, it's, it's you know not not as rigid, and so we added a wood aspen wood stringer down the middle. You can see here. This can make it really strong too. So when the 200 pound guy does a kite loop, it's not going to snap it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's all my boards have adjustable stance widths, and the inserts. If you look really close. You can see an oval packet here that the inserts all fit into. So, and the inserts have a hexagon shaped bottom. So you're gonna never uh, spin an insert. Okay. The thing that's, uh, you, you may have seen some boards like this, a few that are out there with this um, um, concave side cut. But uh, the difference in mine is I have quite a bit of flex to this board. With other big wide boards, if you don't have enough flex, when you get in chop, it's going to kind of get out of control and hard to manage. This board really works well in chop up to thigh high, 22, 23 mile an hour. You can still ride this board. Interesting. But it, it works great in the 10 to 15 range. You know, I, I can ride this board in like 10 or 12 miles an hour with a 14 meter kite. Wow. And stay up wind. And I'm 215 pounds. I test them all myself, of course. Um, so that's the wing. Three sizes of that. Let's and talk about the surfboard. The surfboard. Okay, let's move on to the surf. Ta -da. 
we got a board just for about everybody, you know? This is kind of a uh, hardcore wave board. It's uh, like a meat, you could use it for a light wind board, but not really for a big guy like me. You could use it for a light wind board, no problem, uh, yeah. you know? It's got a little grab rail built into it. I got a three piece jibe pad. I went with a three piece pad because instead of just having one full pad, these edges are really kind of nice to grab onto with your toes. You get more grip by having it split apart. Nice kick tail here if you want to ride strapless. Um, you can, you know, put your foot against the back for some extra reef, you know, to reef out on it and really get some good power. We went with a quad fin. Some of the other um, boards you see out there are thruster. I think the quad works better for kiteboarding because um, when you're on your edge, edging, or you're really hitting the top of a lip really hard, you want to have more fin in the water. Um, all these boards also come with two extra smaller fins in the back for the more experienced rider. The way it's set up now with the four same size fins, it's more of a light wind, um, mushy waves. If you're riding serious down the line waves and 25 knots, you'd go with the smaller fins that also come with it for free. They're a Tuttle box. Really a strong box. A lot stronger than an FCS box. Super easy to mount. Never lose a fin with these. Um, I've got double rows of inserts with six possible adjustment settings. So if you're riding light wind, you want to move it to the front. If you're riding Mauritius, Sirius, down the line, big waves, you want to move it to the back. And this is a 5.8. Hmm. Kind of a medium size. Yeah. We just got one size model of this. Okay, it has a little uh, grab handle on the sides. The construction on this, super durable. It's um, epoxy with an epoxy gel coat, EPS core, and a wood veneer under the foot area to prevent any heel, heel dents. Cool. So that's the, uh, the surf shape quad there. Well, and, and why don't we move on to the kites, man? I'm sure everybody wants to hear about these bad daddies. Okay. For 09, we brought back the Trix and the V-Sonic. The Trix is our wake style and wave kite. Also suitable for first time beginners. It's really stable, easy to use, hangs back in the window a little bit further, so it's gonna turn over real fast when you're going down the line on a wave. This is uh, what all my pro riders ride, is the tricks. Okay. And it's great for a first time lesson in 10 miles an hour. It's super stable. Because it doesn't go way to the edge of the window. Mm -hmm. It's gonna hold its stability. It handles like a sports car too. It's really positive steering, no delay on the steering. It's really nice. Um, a, a nice thing about it for waves, if you look at the bridle, very simple bridle. Super simple bridle. Uh, you can never wrap, it's short, the bridle is short. It can't wrap around the kite if you tumble it in a wave. It won't wrap around the kite. And a cool thing that uh, Globe Kites we invented is the adjustable uh, center of effort, actually. It's called that adjustable kite power optimizer. But what it does is it can move your front bridle attachment point. So if it's in the front, your kite's going to sheet like this. And it's going to take more bar pressure to hold that down. If you move it to the back position, it's more balanced, like this, when you sheet in and out, like a seesaw. So it takes very little bar pressure. So the same kite can be set up for different styles, basically. One kite appeals to more people that way, just by taking one minute to change where the front bridle hangs from. Okay. Right now it comes from the factory set in the middle, but you decide, you get your kite, and you decide you want a little more bar pressure, a little faster turning, you can move it to the back setting. It takes one minute, super easy to change. You just gotta move this one pigtail. Um, and of course, like everybody, you, you've got adjustments on the back line, that's pretty standard. Um, with the v, let's move to the V-Sonic. Yeah. The V-Sonic is a more high aspect, bow style SLE kite. Um, 
goes upwind a little bit better. It's built more for the rider who's kind of a cruiser, wants to just get upwind and throw some big floaty jumps. It's really lofty and has a lot of hang time. The unique thing about the V-Sonic that everybody first notices is the uh, extended area on the leading edge. The idea behind that is the center of the kite is what the wind sees, right? The wind doesn't really see the wingtips. It's blowing in the center. So it elongated the center to get the same size kite, more power, basically. The, uh, the center strut is really curved. So the nose gets a lot of the uh, Bernoulli principle. You know, the wind's got to travel further over the top and on the bottom. A, a curved strut like that's really important. Um, Okay, but so what we got here on the V-Sonic, it, it feels more like a low aspect height. It turns real positively, no delay. But with the, it's low aspect in the center, or medium aspect in the center, while high aspect on the wingtips. The, uh, when you have a low aspect, it creates more drag aerodynamically. So we wanted to increase the pull in the center while minimizing the drag on the wingtips. So it goes upwind like a high aspect height, but it has the grunt and the turning like a low as aspect nice. height. Not okay. quite as turny as the tricks though. So it so this is more for the cruiser and this is more for the radical guy who wants to go out and do wake stuff. Wake, wake style, style unhooked, stuff. wave riding, yeah. Okay. Or for the very first time beginner. Okay. It's good in lessons. Now take us to the bar. Okay. Well, the bar we didn't get quite finished. But, but we can look at it. Yeah, let's look at it. Can't really demonstrate it, but uh, we can look at it. Bar is basically pretty simple this year. It's uh, it's got a really simple stopper. The um, it's just got a simple stopper. These two pieces go together, and the bar won't push through that. That's a permanent stopper. Slide that up, and it's going to push up with it. So you can set your stopper wherever you want. The chicken loop is basically just a grab and push away to exit. Okay. And then uh, we didn't get all the chicken loop finished yet for the show, but uh, that's all right. It's a click back in. It just clicks back in, and you can grab and push away to release. Nice. The depower strap is above the bar up here. Real simple depower strap. Pull the red for less power. Pull the gray to ratchet it back out. Okay. Real simple. It's just got a swivel on the top, and then a flag line on the top as well. What's the, what length lines is this, do they ship with? Okay, uh, 25 on the medium and large sizes, 21s on the 7s, 8s, 9s, smaller sizes, 21 meter lines. And the last thing we didn't talk about is your accessories. Okay, yeah, I make a, a, a few different accessories here. We got the impact vest, comes in uh, two sizes. But the cool thing about our impact vest, most impact vests you see open up on one side, like this. Well, with the light wave impact vest, it opens up on both sides. So it'll fit more people. You can adjust the same vest and fit a guy with a big pot belly. It'll still fit. And the cool thing about this is called the integrator, is it integrates with a harness. You put your vest on here, I'm not, I'm not quite that fat. Here, let me put that back down. So you can make the same vest fit a really wide range. So we have two sizes, a small, medium, and a large, extra large. This is a nice feature right here, just being yeah, able to Yeah, this is a cool feature here. What this does is you undo these, you put your either your seat or your waist harness on, and you the hook goes right here. You put your harness on, you cinch it down. This pad here goes under your hook. The hook sits right here. Cinch your harness down, and that's going to hold your vest down. You take this over the top of the harness hook, and then cinch that down over the hook. And essentially, it locks your harness and your vest together. Nice. In one piece. And these are, uh, what are these, $112. It's a lot cheaper than buying the harness and the vest together. Yeah. If you already have a harness. Works with both a seat and a waist. Okay. We've got that. And then we've got our 
We've got our 09 harness here. This is the GK harness. Comes with a uh, comes with a hook, with the harness pad. Basically, the hook gets nice and covered up when you cinch it down. That's a nice feature. This comes down together, it keeps all the sharp edges away from your body. Like that. Comes with the hook and the harness pad and handle. Kind of a soft harness. It's not a super stiff, rigid harness. Some of the harnesses out there, and some people prefer that, yeah. are, are real stiff and rigid. This harness doesn't ride up at all, but it will kind of turn with you. So when you go toe side, it will kind of rotate a little bit. It makes it a little more comfortable for toe side riding. I prefer a soft harness, but um, that's our harness. And one other accessory I got. One last one. Is this thing works great. One other accessory is the golf bag. The golf bag. Knock on wood, never paid a uh, board fee with this baby. It'll hold up to a 145. Has LWD Golf Limited right there on the side. <laughs> <laughs> the Lightwave Dave Golf Limited bag. Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood, but yeah. But uh, it's a 145. The difference between my golf bag and some of the other ones you see out there, I have nicer handles. One thing, I've molded plastic handles. But uh, the main difference is my bottom panel is about three inches wider than some of the other models you see out there. For today's wide boards will fit in there. Two kites, two boards, that's about 50 pounds. Don't go over 50, you'll be Don't all right. Don't go over 50, yeah. It well, helps to get a uh, ticket agent of the opposite sex, bring chocolates, <laughs> wink a little bit, smile. You always get your board on that way. <laughs> okay, on our leading edge, you won't find a seam in the industry any stronger than on the GK. We use webbing with a triple, zig, triple stitch zigzag and um, a webbing cap over the seam. Each seam intersection is triple stitched. In bow kites, that's what they tend to let go, right on this seam intersection. So we triple stitch it, and that punches a lot of holes in it when you triple stitch it, right? So that could make the Dacron rip away. But that's why we add this extra layer of webbing here on the side. Super bomber leading edge seam. And on the, all the wear spots on the front of the seam, we've got an aramid fiber and hypalon. Hypalon is like what they use in zodiacs and whitewater rafts. It's a really rugged thing meant for running over rocks. We got this from a shoe factory. This, this idea from a shoe factory. But uh, they really have a lot of reinforcement on the leading edge there. So. Oh, the, uh, the one pump system, the free flow system, is really good on the GKs. A lot of companies use a zip tie to hold the free, free flow down. Ours, can you get a close up of this over here, Zach? Under here, maybe? Uh, is it hard to get under here? Okay. It's uh, the free flow system is held on with just Velcro and a special little plastic part with the Velcro threads up through. So if you want to take the hose off, you don't have to cut a zip tie and put a new zip tie on. Cool. Just undo the Velcro, pull it out. Fix your bladder, push it back in, and Velcro it up. Awesome, smart, dude. Smart, smart idea. Well, like so. I said, I know you're busy. And thanks for your time today. Thanks, Ryan. And what's your website? Uh, lightwavedesigns.com. And you can find all the information about the- Or globekites.com. Or globekites, so. Anyway, yeah, Dave, uh, this will be up online tonight. Right on. Thank you, Ryan. All right, man. Very good? Yeah. Thanks a lot.